We are here to laugh at the odds and live our lives so well that death will tremble to take us. Few cities in the world have spoken to my heart the way Lisbon does. Its history chiseled across its landscape, whispering the tales of its success and its misery. I've spent three days searching for pilgrims and comfort eating when I don't find them. This city, the start of the Camino Portuguese, seems devoid of the essential ingredient of a pilgrimage. Pilgrims. Burdened by the weight of my doubts and a dozen custard tarts, I take to the streets for my last day in this glorious city. Lisbon is like candy for photographers. Every single corner is beautiful. The light bounces around. Look at the light up here. It just bounces around doing beautiful things. I'm pretty lost. I took a few wrong turns. So I am at a crossroads. Um, I went there, I've come back. Let's see how long it takes me to get lost again. And then, in the distance, I see a man struggling under the weight of a giant tripod. A photographer? For me, photography is like uh, a way to maybe discover the world. And a fellow armchair philosopher. It's like I've met my smarter, more charming twin brother. Hmm. When you make a photo, you give immortality to what you shoot. You carry your camera, you take photos, you look around yourself and uh, you meet people that are curious about your camera, maybe, <laughs> something. And um, it's not because I want to take something from the world or from the people, but because I want to, to give something to the other, like flowers, you know, flowers are beautiful. They give the, the beauty to the other for free. It's a little known fact that there is something that philosophical photographers have in common. We have to find the arrows, huh? I don't know, maybe we ask to this person. A horrendous sense of direction. Excuse me, the Camino of Fatima? Uh, lá embaixo está, está uma, depois é virada à direita. Ok, está. grazie. Uh, 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 obrigado. Obrigado. <laughs> so we are on the Camino. This yeah. is good. <laughs> I've met Rosario at the beginning of his second Camino. Before his first Camino, Rosario was running a successful website and design company and enjoying all of the excess of his success. I was not happy about my, my life, so I buy stuff to be happy. So I start to buy car, I go, I make holidays. Uh, I don't care about the, the journey, but I care more about the comfort, you know, a four-star hotel, a good restaurant. I know now that it's, it was stupid, but when you are 25 and you, you, you were born without a lot of money and you see other people with a lot of stuff, you want the stuff because you look at them. And then in a competitive system, you push yourself to do something that is not your nature. But as is true for many who have walked the way, the end is the beginning of an unnerving new chapter. When I come back, I feel that everything is wrong. And so I look around myself, you know? It's the dream life of, of the television, of the cinema and so on. And uh, I feel that, it's, that I don't feel good. And so I start to to think about a new kind of life without anything. And uh, I tried to sell everything. I closed my office in, in Italy. And then uh, I, I, I went to Paris without a job, with not a lot of money, without uh, knowing French. In an uncanny parallel, I did the very same thing after my first Camino. Selling everything, I traveled Asia for 18 months in search of a simpler life. 
It's like Rosario and I have been living parallel lives. Except he enjoyed all the success, pretty women and fancy dinners, and all I got was a mouldy sandwich and an empty bag of dreams. Everything you own must be able to fit into one suitcase. Then your mind will be free. Our minds might be free, but our bodies are lost. La freccia, la freccia di Fatima, arro. Fatima, la cattedrale, si parla? Sì. Ok, merci. Grazie. Thank you. <laughs> Obrigado. <laughs> Obrigado. <laughs> we could always just take the train. Yeah. <laughs> As we flounder aimlessly through these grubby back streets, Rosario is reminded of the wisdom of a great American poet and writer. Bukowski wrote a poem about life. He says that you have to live your life also if it's difficult, also if you, if you have pain, also if you don't know where you are going and so on. Because in this way, God appreciates you. Your life is your life. Don't let it be clubbed into dank submission. Be on the watch. There are ways out. There is light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. Be on the watch. The gods will offer you chances. Know them. Take them. You can't beat death, but you can beat death in life. Sometimes. And the more often you learn to do it, the more light there will be. Your life is your life. Know it while you have it. You are marvellous. The gods wait to delight in you. It's not possible to change in one day. It, it needs a period of training for changing. I know that I don't want the same, the same stuff at the end of the first Camino because it was very tough. I hope it will, it will be easier in the future than the past. So the changing, it was very tough. Maybe I could take a picture of this, of this bridge. Well, I would love it if you did. You want? I would. Wow, it takes... You're only going to be here once. Yeah, I take a picture. Okay. From here. Maybe from there. Okay. It's better. And uh, I love to take time to take picture. So for, for take one picture, I take 30 minutes, more or less, because I have to study the light, uh, because sometimes it's not necessary to take a photo. Sometimes it's good to just to see, enjoy the moment, and don't take photos. With the film, I like it because you have a limit. And during these three weeks, I, could, I can take 60 photos, not more. And this is put your, your mind in a different point. In this way, you, 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 you train your eyes to look around yourself. If something burns your soul with purpose and desire, it's your duty to be reduced to ashes by it. Life is uh, happiness, life is uh, fear, life is pain. Life is everything about that. It's not just one stuff. Life is everything. So there are moments where you feel lost, like it now. <laughs> and uh, you don't know where to go. And uh, no, this is the life. And of course we're backtracking because uh, those arrows were unclear, as is often the case. If you, if you know what you are going to do, I think life is boring. Life is interesting and amazing because you don't know what you have in the future. I don't choose this morning to meet you and to work with you. But it's amazing because we met. So this is life. Hmm. Just open to the other stuff. Yeah. Can we ever be lost in life? In a world of infinite possibilities, perhaps where you are is precisely where you're meant to be. Maybe you're not lost. You're simply discovering where you are when you're there. The beauty of following the road is the journey and keeping an open heart to the possibilities that lay ahead and to the side. I never saw Rosario again, but our walk will always be preserved in my mind 
like a latent image burnt into a piece of film. You have to die a few times before you can truly live. Thanks for coming on the journey with me and next week we're going to Porto. Uh, as always, please like, share and subscribe and you know what, drop a, a comment in the comments below. Last week I had one of my favourite comments which was, Andrew, you're cuter than a bucket of puppies. So whoever you are, thanks. I know. And a very special shout out to my Nepali family, Maud, Sandru and Razu from Inspire Nepal. These are simply some of the best people that I've ever met. Uh, they made my time in Nepal incredible and they've spent the last five years helping uh, Nepali. So thank you guys. Keep up the good work.